the shock from the north, a new kind of fighter jet. A small country has just made a very big surprise. On a crisp autumn morning, November 3, 2025, the world learned that Sweden has built an AI fighter jet. The news came not from a massive military power, but from a Nordic nation known for its neutrality and design. This jet can think for itself. It can plan its own missions. It can act with very little human help. The announcement sent a ripple of shock through the global defense community. It was a moment where the old rules of power seemed to bend. No one expected this kind of leap from a country with a population smaller than Los Angeles County. This was not just a new plane, it was a new idea taking flight. The reaction from the United States was immediate and palpable. Inside the Pentagon, analysts scrambled to understand what had just happened. For decades, America has held a comfortable lead in military aviation technology. Its F-35 and F-22 jets are symbols of that dominance. But this news from Sweden was different. It suggested that the race was no longer just about bigger engines or stealthier materials. Unveiling the machine. What is an AI fighter jet? So what exactly is this new AI fighter jet? In simple terms, it is a flying machine that uses artificial intelligence to make its own decisions. Think of it less like a remote-controlled drone and more like a pilot made of software. The jet is equipped with an array of advanced sensors, high-resolution cameras, powerful radars. These are its eyes and ears. They gather enormous amounts of information from the world around them. The AI, which is the jet's brain, processes all this data in an instant. It can identify friendly forces, spot potential threats, analyze weather patterns, detect attempts to jam its systems. It is a constant cycle of seeing, thinking, and acting. The critical difference is how it makes choices. A human pilot follows training instinct and commands from the ground. An AI jet follows algorithms, but these are not simple, rigid instructions. The AI can learn from experience. After each simulated mission training flight, it analyzes what went right and what went wrong. It adjusts its own tactics. It can fly complex missions, coordinate with other drones, react to surprises on the battlefield much faster than a human ever could. Let us break down how it works with a clear example. Imagine the jet is tasked with flying over hostile territory to photograph a specific site. The AI pilot would first plot the safest and most efficient route using digital maps and intelligence data. During the flight, its sensors might detect an unexpected enemy radar system that just turned on. A human pilot would have to analyze the new threat check their options, perhaps radio for advice. This takes precious seconds. The AI, however, can process the radar signal, compare it to a vast database of threats, decide on an evasive maneuver in a fraction of a second. It might choose to dive low, change its electronic signature, deploy a decoy, all without human intervention. This ability to operate with minimal human help is what experts call autonomy. The jet does not need a constant connection to a person on the ground. It can be given a broad goal, like patrol this area, and it will figure out the details itself. This is what makes the jet so powerful, but also what makes many people nervous. It can find targets. It can choose flight paths in dangerous weather. It can make split-second combat decisions. The fear is that a machine could make a critical mistake, a choice between who lives and who dies, without a human being there to provide the final check, the moment of moral judgment. The Swedish Advantage – Innovation from a Small Nation How did a small country like Sweden pull this off? Sweden has a population of just over 10 million people. It doesn't have the massive defense budget of the United States or China. The answer lies not in size,
but in a unique combination of culture industry strategy. Sweden has punched above its weight in aerospace engineering for a long time. Companies like Saab have a deep aerospace history. The Gripen fighter jet, a notable example. They're known for being efficient, innovative, focused on building highly capable systems on a limited budget. This is smart design, not brute force. Sweden's innovation model is fast and flexible. It lacks the heavy layers of bureaucracy that slow bigger defense programs. Its tech industry thrives on close collaboration between universities, small tech startups, established defense firms. Visual Diagram Universities, startups, and a large aerospace company all connected and sharing information. A university lab idea can quickly become a Saab prototype. University lab research. Prototype development at a defense firm. That ecosystem enables rapid experimentation. Test new AI in a simulator one week, integrated into a test drone the next. American anxiety. Why the Pentagon is watching closely. The news from Sweden has created a distinct sense of anxiety in Washington. The United States has long relied on its technological superiority as a cornerstone of its military power. The idea that a smaller nation could suddenly develop a next-generation capability is deeply unsettling to strategic planners. The worry is not that Sweden will become an adversary. The worry is about what this development represents the erosion of a long-held American edge. The Pentagon is now confronting a future where its most advanced systems might be matched, or even surpassed, by those of other, less predictable nations. One of the primary concerns is speed. Not the speed of the jet, but the speed of innovation. Large bureaucratic organizations like the U.S. Department of Defense often move slowly. Developing a new weapon system can take decades and cost billions of dollars, tied up in regulations, testing requirements, political processes. Sweden's projects suggest that a small, agile team can move much, much faster. This creates a risk that the U.S. could be caught in a perpetual game of catch-up, always reacting to the latest breakthrough from a smaller, quicker competitor. The race is no longer a marathon. It is a series of sprints. Cost is another major factor. The F-35 program, America's premier fighter jet, is the most expensive weapon system in history. Sweden's approach leverages commercial AI and agile development, hinting at a future where cutting-edge military technology becomes far cheaper to produce. This is not just speculation. There is concrete evidence that this technological shift is happening now. The announcement on November 3, 2025, was the culmination of years of quiet, focused work. Reports from defense analysis groups like the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Their 2024 report, The Algorithmic Battlefield, highlighted rapid progress in military AI across Europe. It specifically noted Sweden's advanced machine learning research for aerospace applications. Specific dates and events paint a clearer picture. 2022, expert warning. 2023, simulation success. 2024, prototype flight. 2025, public announcement. Mid-2023, Saab and Linköping University published papers on cognitive air combat. Those papers showed simulations where an AI pilot beat experienced human pilots. Early 2024, a Swedish defense official mentioned a successful prototype flight, buried in a technical briefing. That flight proved the project had moved from the computer screen to the real world. These milestones were the breadcrumbs leading to the big reveal. The numbers also tell a story of rapidly falling costs. A 2025 Gartner report found cost per computation for AI chips fell over 90% since 2020. 
That price collapse lets modest budgets power supercomputer-level processing on a jet. It is the reason why a small team in Sweden can now do what was once only possible for a superpower. Expert voices have been sounding the alarm for years. In 2022, General John E. Hyten warned that acquisition speed wasn't keeping pace with technological change. His words now seem prophetic. Beyond the strategic competition, Sweden's AI jet forces us to confront a profound ethical dilemma. Autonomy, the ability of a machine to make its own choices, including the choice to use lethal force. As these systems become more intelligent and independent, we are crossing a threshold. We are getting closer to a future where a human is no longer in the loop, but merely on the loop, supervising a decision rather than making it. This raises a question that is as much about philosophy as it is about technology. Who is responsible when a machine makes a mistake? Consider a combat scenario. An AI jet is programmed to identify and destroy enemy missile launchers. It detects a heat signature and a shape that matches its target profile with 98% certainty. However, the target is located near a building that the AI identifies as a school. A human pilot would hesitate. They would weigh the risk to civilians against the military objective. They would use their judgment, their conscience. What does the AI do? Does it follow its programming to destroy the target? Or does it have an ethical subroutine that tells it to hold fire? And who writes that ethical code? This is not a distant, hypothetical problem. The debate over lethal autonomous weapon systems, or laws, has been active at the United Nations for years. Many argue these systems lack moral reasoning and cannot be held accountable like a soldier. The arrival of a thinking fighter jet does more than add a piece to the chessboard, it changes the rules of the game. The very nature of warfare is poised to transform. For a century, air combat was a duel between human pilots. Skill courage, reaction time. AI changes that calculus. A jet that can think and react at machine speed could make a human pilot obsolete in direct confrontation. It can pull maneuvers humans couldn't survive and process tactical data far faster than any brain. Old strategies could be useless overnight. This tech enables entirely new tactics. An AI jet wouldn't have to fly alone. It could quarterback a team of cheaper drone wingmen. It could command a swarm. Dozens of drones. Hundreds of drones. It could send them to scout jam enemy radars, overwhelm defenses. Manned unmanned teaming multiplies a single aircraft's force. The battlefield becomes a high-speed network of interconnected machines coordinated by artificial intelligence. It could spot a threat from 30,000 feet, trigger a missile from a ship hundreds of miles away, before a human even sees the target on a screen. The side with the faster, smarter network wins. Faced with this new reality, the United States has several possible paths forward, each with its own risks and rewards. The most immediate and likely response will be to accelerate its own AI development programs. Projects like the U.S. Air Force's Skyborg, which aims to create an AI pilot for drone wingmen, will likely receive a massive infusion of funding and political urgency. The Pentagon will work to break down its own bureaucratic hurdles and foster a more agile innovation culture, mimicking the Swedish model. This path leads to an AI arms race, with nations competing to build ever smarter and more autonomous weapons. A second, more collaborative approach would be for the U.S. to work with allies and partners, including Sweden, to establish common standards and ethical guidelines for military AI. This would involve international diplomacy and treaty negotiations aimed at creating rules of the road. 
The goal would be to prevent a chaotic proliferation of dangerous technologies by agreeing on limits. For example, nations could agree to a mandatory requirement for meaningful human control in all lethal systems. A third path focuses on defense and countermeasures. Detect, track, and neutralize hostile AI systems. Jam or spoof sensors. Build defensive AI to predict and counter enemy AI. But in AI, the line between offense and defense is blurry, and escalation can still follow. Sweden's move shows smaller nations can be innovators and shapers of warfare, not just consumers. In the end, Sweden's AI jet is more than just a piece of military hardware. It is a loud and clear wake-up call for the entire world. It signals that we are standing at a fork in the road. The incredible power of artificial intelligence is here, and it is reshaping our world at a breathtaking pace. One path leads toward a dangerous and unstable arms race. Nations rush to build machines that can think and kill faster than their rivals, with little regard for the ethical consequences. This is a future of algorithmic warfare, where conflict could escalate in milliseconds beyond the ability of humans to control. The other path is one of caution, cooperation, control. It is a future where we harness the power of AI to make our defenses smarter and our soldiers safer, but without surrendering our moral authority. This path requires us to act now. Citizens must demand transparency, ask their leaders what rules are in place. Companies and scientists have a duty to build safety and ethics into their designs from the very beginning. Governments must come together to forge international agreements that place firm limits on autonomy in warfare, ensuring that a human being is always responsible for a life or death decision. The clear warning is this, if we do nothing, we will sleepwalk into a future we did not choose, one where our security is in the hands of unpredictable and unaccountable machines. If guided by wisdom, this technology could make the world safer. AI could better defend against attacks. AI could perform dangerous reconnaissance without risking human lives. AI could make military actions more precise and reduce collateral damage.